Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulihin nabiyil kareem. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amma ba'd. Going to sleep. It is something which enables us to come closer to Allah. Believe it or not, going to sleep, it can be an act of worship in and of itself. So I want to mention to you brothers and sisters in Islam, I want to mention to you some of those prescribed acts to do when going to sleep from the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The first thing that we should do before we even get into our beds is to make wudu. We should make wudu and try and sleep in a state of wudu. So when we go to sleep, we are in a purified state and our intention is to follow the sunnah of the Messenger salam. And this is also a very good protection from the devils and the shayateen from amongst the jinn if we sleep in a state of wudu, a state of purity. Secondly, before getting into bed, we should uh, dust our beds down, say Bismillah three times, and dust our beds down three times. This is from the Sunnah of the Prophet We should also ensure that we recite Surah Al-Mulk, which is the 67th Surah of the Quran. Al-Mulk. This Surah, as the Messenger وسلم, told us, that it will be a protection from the punishment of the grave for the one who recites it. So when we go to sleep, before we sleep, we should recite this Surah of the Qur'an and following the Sunnah of the Messenger وسلم, also seeking protection from the punishment of the grave. Another thing that we should do, my dear brothers and sisters, is to recite Ayatul Kursi. Recite Ayatul Kursi before we go to sleep. For indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appoints for you a guard until the morning. If you recite Ayatul Kursi before you go to sleep. From the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is to recite Qul huwa Allahu ahad, Surah Ikhlas. Qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq, which is Surah Falaq. And Qul a'udhu bi rabbil nas, which is Surah Nas. The last three surahs of the Quran, we should recite them three times each. It is from the Sunnah of the Messenger, alayhi salatu salam, that he would recite these surahs three times each. He would then cup his hands and blow into his hands and then rub his hands over his body or that which he could reach of his body. This is as a protection. This is as a protection from the shayateen from amongst the jinn. And the Messenger alayhi salatu salam, he would do this every single night until when he became ill, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, his wife and our mother Aisha radiallahu anha, she would do it for him and she would pass her hands over his body because he wasn't able to do it himself, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Other things that we should do. We should sleep on our right side, facing the direction of the Qibla if possible. So we should sleep on our right side. And it was from the Sunnah of the Messenger السلام, that he would sleep with his head or his, uh, his, his right cheek in the palm of his right hand. So when he would sleep, he would sleep with his face in his palm. This is from the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If he had or if he if you have a bad dream, the Messenger Alayhi Salam he told us that when you wake up from a bad dream, seek refuge in Allah from Shaytan, i.e. A'udhu Billahi min Shaytan Rajim and spit dryly over your shoulder three times. If this is something which happens on a regular basis, then wake up, make wudu, make the ablution and pray two rak'ahs and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then get back into bed, sleep in a different position to the one which you woke up in. And if it's a bad dream, don't tell anybody about this dream. So these are some of the uh, sunan of sleeping. And most importantly, I want to mention two points now. The first thing, is the statement bring yourself to account before you are brought to account so my dear brothers and sisters in islam when our heads are on the pillow we need to bring ourselves to account how has this day gone is this day better than the day which preceded it or am i getting worse am i getting further away from the remembrance of allah or am i coming closer to allah we bring ourselves to account have i committed a sin today which i need to repent for if the answer is yes don't sleep until we repent for that sin. Secondly, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is our intention. 
Every action is according to its intention and you will be rewarded for that which you intended. You will have that which you intended. So why are you sleeping? Ask yourself this question. Why am I sleeping? Make your intention before you go to sleep that I am sleeping so that I can rest and recuperate and regain my energy so that in the morning I can wake up and worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we do this, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we sleep with the correct intention that it is a means for us to worship Allah when we wake up then the mere action of sleep, it will become an act of ibadah. It will become an act of worship. And as a result of that, whilst we are asleep, whilst we are dreaming away, we will be getting reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are some of the things that I wanted to present to you brothers and sisters in the short space of time that we have. So I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our sleep a means of coming closer to Him, a means of purification for us. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the tawfiq and the ability to bring ourselves to account before we are brought to account. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدَ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتِهِ